What lies outside our solar system? Have you ever wondered if there's a constellation of planets similar to our solar system out there? Now, for the first time, astrophysicists have managed to capture images of planets outside our solar system. If you like our videos, feel free to support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and get ready for many more fascinating videos in the future. Snapshots from Another World Scientists managed to take the first snapshots of another solar system, ushering in a new era of astronomy. The infrared images show a collection of three giant worlds orbiting a young, extremely hot star in the constellation Pegasus, 130 light-years from Earth. A light-year is the distance light travels in one year, that is, 9.5 billion kilometers, or 6 billion miles. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope also photographed a single Jupiter-sized planet orbiting a near neighbor of the Sun, just 25 light-years away, christened Fummelhut b. In the future, astronomers hope to capture images of Earth-sized planets in other solar systems. Analyzing light from their atmospheres could shed light on the existence of life. It's a first step on the road to discovering if there are other planets like Earth and possibly other life out there. According to astronomer Bruce McIntosh, member of one of the two teams taking images of extrasolar systems and a researcher of Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in Livermore, California. Just a matter of time. None of the four giant gas planets is even remotely habitable or even remotely Earth-like, but they raise the possibility that there could be others that are friendlier. And Macintosh said it's only a matter of time before we get to a planet that is actually blue and Earth-like. In the past 13 years, scientists have discovered more than 300 planets outside our solar system. But these were just accidental discoveries made while other phenomena were actually being studied, such as changes in gravity, velocity, or light around stars, recorded by measurements. The Hunt for the Needle in the Haystack NASA's head of space science, Ed Wheeler, said the photo surveys are very important to humanity. He compared it to the hunt for elusive and extremely rare elephants, saying, For years we've heard the elephants, found the tracks, seen the trees they've knocked over, but we've never been able to take a picture. Now we finally have a picture and see it with our own eyes. The planet Fummelhut b, which orbits the star Fummelhut, pronounced Fum al hut and is Arabic for mouth of the fish, was found by University of California astronomer Paul Callis and his team. Paul Callis says, I almost had a heart attack in late May when I was able to confirm that Fummelhut b was orbiting its parent star, he said. It's an impactful and overwhelming experience to get your first look at a planet you've never seen before. Until now, astronomers have relied on indirect methods to detect extrasolar planets, which normally cannot be seen because of the blinding light from their parent stars and remain invisible in images. However, the planets described today in the journal Science were photographed directly using high-precision ground-based telescopes and sophisticated computer processing to block out the star's light. Christian Marois, of the Hertzberg Institute for Astrophysics and his team used the Keck and Gemini telescopes in Hawaii to find the three planets near the star HR 8799, which is just visible to the naked eye. So we don't have a complete picture yet, he told BBC News. The discovery of the three planets around HR 8799 doesn't mean there aren't planets at similar distances orbiting us. Other gas giants, or even rocky planets, may be found there. Is there life out there? In the future, astronomers hope to capture images of Earth-sized planets in other solar systems. Analyzing the light from their atmospheres could shed new light on the existence of life. But it will take several years of observation to make sure the object of study is indeed in orbit with a star as it moves across the sky. 
the parent star of the three-planet family is designated HR 8799, which is 1.5 times more massive than the Sun and five times brighter, but less than 100 million years old. By comparison, the Sun formed about 4.5 billion years ago. Incredible Distances Two of the planets are said to be about 10 times as heavy as Jupiter, and the third is about 7 times as heavy. In terms of size, they could be 20 to 30 percent larger in diameter than Jupiter. The planets are very young, only about 60 million years old, and still glowing from the heat generated when they formed from clumps of dust coalescing. Like the giant planets orbiting the Sun, they lie in the outer regions of their solar system about 25, 40, and 70 astronomical units, or AU, from their star. An astronomical unit is the distance between the Earth and the Sun, about 93 million kilometers. So far, astronomers have only succeeded in discovering planets orbiting relatively close stars, usually at distances of less than 5 AU. Direct imaging of the planets also allowed analysis of their atmospheres. All three are thought to have complex atmospheres that contain dust clouds. Since the 1990s, astronomers have discovered about 200 extrasolar planets. Most were found using the wobble method, which looks for tiny perturbations caused by gravity. When a large planet orbits a star, the gravitational force between them causes the star to wobble, affecting the light it emits. Another technique detects the tiny dimming of a star's brightness as a planet passes in front of it, an event called a transit. As Dr. Bruce McIntosh said, until now, when astronomers detected new planets around a star, all we saw were wiggly lines on a graph of the star's speed or brightness. Now we have a real image that shows the planets themselves, and that makes things very interesting. We've been trying to get images of planets for eight years with no success. This is a milestone in finding and characterizing planetary systems around stars. I've been trying to do this for eight years, unsuccessfully, and after eight years, we have three at once. HR 8799 is a hot blue A-type star, but it's only faintly visible to the naked eye. It was studied as part of an analysis of 80 similar stars that are in the Sun's neighborhood. The historic images were taken with the Gemini North and Keck telescopes, both located on Mauna Kea in Hawaii. To produce the highly detailed images, adaptive optics were used to bend the telescope's mirror to counteract the blurring effect of Earth's atmosphere. State-of-the-art technology Advanced computer processing was also used to block out the star's light so that the planets could be seen. The Hubble images show a planet the size of Jupiter lying in a dust belt surrounding the star Fummelhut. Easily visible to the naked eye in the southern constellation Pisces Austrinus, or Southern Pisces. Officially designated Fummelhut b, scientists believe the planet may have a ring system. It is far from its parent star, at a distance of about 119 AU. The planet's existence was suspected in 2005 when it was discovered that Fummelhut had a dust belt with a sharp edge that extended slightly. This suggested that the gravity of a planet was shaping the inner edge of the belt. Even using the Hubble Star Shadow, or coronagraph, which reduces the glare of stars, the planet would have remained hidden if it had not been in such a wide orbit. A look into the future. Fummelhut is about 200 million years old and 16 times brighter than the Sun. It will burn out in about a billion years, making it a very short-lived star. Both teams of astronomers had to take a series of photos over a period of several years to be sure they were really seeing planets and not background objects unrelated to the stars. Dr. Bruce McIntosh said he suspects that there are more planets in the family of HR 8799 that cannot be detected with current technology. One of the things that distinguishes this system from most extrasolar planets already known is that HR 8799 has its giant planets in the outer parts, like our own solar system, leaving room for smaller terrestrial planets in the inner parts of the solar system. But our technical capabilities are not currently sufficient to see them. 
Are these planets aligned the way the planetary orbits are aligned in our solar system? Are they circular? Are among other questions scientists are seeking answers to. The answers to such questions could reveal whether these planets formed in the same way as the worlds around our Sun or by some other process, providing another clue as to whether planets and systems like ours are common or rare. Dr. Bruce McIntosh is leading a team that is constructing an adaptive optic system for finding planets that will be 100 times more sensitive than the one used to observe HR 8799. If all goes well, we will soon be able to see these planets as well and get an idea of their habitability. With any luck, we'll find a new planet so similar to our Earth that humanity could migrate there and make a fresh start. What's your opinion on these groundbreaking discoveries outside our solar system? Do you think humanity will one day be able to live on a planet other than the Earth? Feel free to leave us your thoughts in the comments.